Hello and welcome to Top 5 Friday. I'm Tim Kant and as you know it's my mission to bring equality to planet Earth. The next step in my admittedly circuitous plan is to run down the top five equalizer plugins too sexy and dangerous to exist in the analog domain. So let's get cracking. Spline EQ throws us a curveball at five. We get ribbed by Prime EQ at four. Smart EQ2 is dressed to impress at three. The very spooky Spectre is haunting our number two slot. And Pro Q3 is our not very surprising number one. At five, it's Spline EQ by Photosounder. The EQ that looks like it was created by a deranged graphic designer, Spline EQ gives you Bezier splines to set the curvature for each band, so you can dial in unusual shapes. Asymmetrical ones, extra steep ones, and other weird curves. As well as the settings for each curve, Spline EQ lets you affect the entire plot at once, with controls for scaling, gain, and transposing to move the entire frequency set up and down. It's even got a built-in limiter so you don't have to treat your audio with kid gloves. Spline EQ is a cool equalizer with a feature I wish all EQs had. Let's check it out now. I've got a bit of a scenario for here. I've got a break beat and it's got a bit of a boomy bass drum on there which you'll be able to hear and see on the plugins spectral analyzer. Let's give it a go. See this bit here? This is the bit I want to get rid of. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this low shelf out of the way. I'm going to move this band down to here. Let's listen and play it back. Okay, that's, uh, that's close enough. So we've reduced and attenuated that uh, bass drum a little bit but say now we want to transpose this sound around these things sometimes happen let's go in there let's take it up to five plus five semitones and now clearly our freaking bands in the wrong place guys what are you going to do about that well in a regular eq you'd have to do everything manually in Spline EQ, look, you can just transpose it up five semitones if I can manage to do that. Now let's have a listen. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll uh, try it with the processed and unprocessed signal just so you can hear what's going on. Absolutely fantastic. So devs, if you're watching, please let's have that transposition function in every conceivable EQ ever. At four, Prime EQ by Voxango. In with that understated Voxango design is Prime EQ, a plugin that will look rather familiar to users of Voxango's awesome span spectral analyzer. Prime EQ eschews bells and whistles. It's an extremely quick EQ with a focus on getting to where you want to be as quickly as possible. Can load up to 32 bands with 13 filter types for each, and we'll show you exactly what each filter band is doing to the overall signal using its display. There's also an undo history and AB comparison, so you can ensure that your frenzied equalizing is actually enhancing your mix. Prime EQ is a real simple EQ. If you don't like bells and whistles, this is the place to be. Let's see how it works. This isn't going to take long, so we'll play some audio. As you can see, we've got our span style display. If you don't have Voxango span already, I highly recommend you check it out. It's an awesome sexual analyzer. This is very much like span with an EQ built in. To add a band, we double click and it gives us, you know, a peaking band or whatever. Pretty straightforward. If we want to change it, we can go down to our little uh, info section here. We can change the bandwidth and the gain in the frequency, all that sort of stuff. Let's take out these wobbly bits down here. And we can also change the mode, and there's 13 different modes, boom. We want to add another thing. We just double click, there we go. And we can swap between our bands with these arrow buttons. That's basically it. So, what you're asking me is, hey Timmy, there's plenty of EQs out there. Why is a Prime EQ worthy of my consideration? I'll tell you why. The Spectral Analyzer is sick. It's, it's probably the best I've seen out there. It's real simple to use. 
and also, crucially, it's very, very reasonably priced. Currently, it's under 50 quid. Now, a lot of the fancy EQs are a lot more expensive. This is an absolutely fantastic choice if you're looking for a combination of functionality and value, and that's why it's in our top five. At three, Smart EQ2 from Sonable. With its artificial intelligence filters, Smart EQ listens to your input and suggests a more balanced approach for an individual track or an entire mix. When you start generating a smart curve in Smart EQ2, the first thing to do is identify what instrument you're feeding it so that the plugin can make appropriate suggestions. There's a list to choose from, from voice, bass, and hi hats to instruments like trombone and clarinet. You hit the capture button and play the audio in Smart EQ, which gives you a suggested curve, which you can then scale and tweak however you like. Recently, the version 2 update of Smart EQ put mid-side fills into the mix, so you can EQ your mono, stereo, and side signal separately. Okay, gang, let's check out the Smart Filter feature of Smart EQ 2. I've got some audio I've recorded here of my speech, confusingly enough, but it'll sound a bit different to how my voice normally does in these videos because I have, normally I record these with a lapel mic for convenience and consistency. This little vocal snippet I've recorded through a Shure SM58, as you will hear. So uh, let's have a listen to it. Shure SM58, check one, two. Okay, pretty self-explanatory. Um, let's check out the smart filtering features. Now, you have an optional profile that you can choose for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose the speech profile. There's a bunch in here. No custom profiles, haven't made any. Um, so let's select speech and then we click the record button and then we play the audio into it. Sure, SM58, check one, two. Okay, there we go. It really is as simple as that. So we'll pause that there. And what I'll do is I'll loop this up and we can have a listen to it. And what I'll do is we'll listen to it kind of like with the default setting. And then I will start to move this around, which controls the amount of the effect. And you can take it into the negative values. So we'll hear how it sounds. And also I'm going to be quiet while I'm doing that. So you don't have two of me talking into your ear because that would be horrendous. Sure, SM58, check one, two. Sure, SM58, check one, two. Sure, SM58, check one, two. And if you really want to, you can go in and muck about with the individual bands and have a play around like that. Let's hear what that does. Sure, SM58, check one, two. Sure, SM58, check one, two. Sure, SM58, check one, two. So there you go, some rather interesting innovations from Sonable there. A two, Spectre by Waves Factory. Classic analog EQs have generated a myth in audio production that you should always cut instead of boosting. This was because of analog EQ bands' tendency to add to a signal's noise floor, but modern digital EQs don't suffer from this. Spectre, being thoroughly modern, actually uses harmonic enhancement under the hood to do its thing, and this leads us to a boost-only EQ design, unthinkable for producers and engineers of the past. But what you get with Spectre is an EQ that boosts sound not just in level but in richness, bringing out the goodness that's already there in order to create a great result. Okay, let's check out Spectre. Now, the first thing I noticed about this plugin was this gorgeous but totally superfluous border around it, which just makes it look classy and aesthetic AF, but ultimately just takes up screen real estate. So thankfully we can get rid of it though. And that's obviously more sensible, though not quite as funky. Um, it still looks lovely though. So anyway, got a bit of a hip hop drum loop here. Let's just have a play around with it. So we can add some bands here. Boom in. Currently the color is set to tube. We can try various different modes. Bonkin. So yeah, and you can just warm up your signal. A fair treat. No reduction. It's just all adding. Also, we've been using subtle mode there. Let's go for some aggressive action. That's how I like it, guys. Oh, my lords. 
Mmm. Booming. Oh, yeah. Let's make this thing knock, yeah. So yeah, a pretty cool and innovative plugin from Waves Factory there. Fair play, lads. And at number one is ProQ 3 by FabFilter. The king of all EQs, and one of the most highly regarded plugins out there, ProQ 3 is immediate, easy to use, looks great, and sounds great too. Far from just doing standard EQ, ProQ 3 suggests notches to bring down when you hover over the spectrum. It allows you to set individual bands to mid, side, left or right channels or stereo, can match your audio input to a sidechain source track, and can detect masking frequencies on other tracks with a ProQ 3 on them or connected via a sidechain input. ProQ also gives every band the ability to go dynamic, has brick wall filter types for insanely steep but great sounding audio, lets you operate in full screen mode, can automatically adjust output gain, and has tons more amazing features. Guys, I flipping love ProQ. It's my most used plugin, I would say easily, and version three is an absolute corker. There's tons of great stuff in there. Just gonna show you one of its cool new features, the dynamic EQ. So I've got a little bit of a break beat here. Let's have a listen to that. So check out this bass here. You know, it plays twice in the sample, doesn't play all the way through. Perfect for a little bit of a dynamic EQing. So let's see what happens. Gonna make a thing here. We can boost it. We can cut it. But let's say we want to do it dynamically. Well, all we do is hover over it. We say make dynamic, and then it will automatically uh, set up a threshold for us. So let's see what happens. So we're getting rid of that big bass thing, but as you can see, it's only really ducking it when the bass plays. Ruddy lovely. If you want a bit more hands-on, oh, and look, it does this as well, which is sick. I'm not gonna cover that now. Um, but if you wanna set the threshold yourself, all you do is you click here and there you go. You can choose your own threshold. Not doing anything, doing a lot. Let's try boosting as well, call me crazy. Oh, this is blatantly going to clip if we... Oh, yeah, but listen. Oh. Oh, so warm and lovely. And let's let's have a look at this, this grabby peak thing, because it is really sick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. So yeah, FabFilter Pro Q3. If you haven't checked out Pro Q yet, I implore you to check out this plugin because it is freaking amazing. Well, that was not exactly fun, but we certainly tweaked some peaks. What on earth will we get up to next time on Top 5 Friday? Only one way to find out and that's to join us. Peace.